Monkey King Draw Ranger. So you think so as think... soon as as soon as you start to see they're gonna increase the pit, you gotta pick your own tempo control in here, so <laughs> Yeah, so like ma- fight fire with fire. Basically, I mean it makes the game really interesting. Mm-hmm. No definitely. Table tennis match and such, but uh we're gonna be getting into the draft in just a second here, guys. score graphic up for you guys so I did forget to do that for game number one I'm not a professional remember but uh <laughs> good enough we tried to be m- m- much more professional than the, the, the no no no, no, no don't, run say. Of the, don't, what? Say. don't say don't say don't, don't, you don't know what I'm going to say Excuse I, I me. don't want to risk it <laughs> what if I want to be an Apache helicopter and now you're not letting me be one <laughs> goodness what <laughs> Why would you want to be an Apache helicopter in the first place? Hey, listen, when people are mean to me, I can take them out, eh? One shot. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know those cyber bullies? I'll find your house. Uh, okay, let's actually get back to the topic at hand. The entire reason we're here, instead of Apache helicopters. Um, <laughs> and uh, again, we've seen the oh, AM taken out. Then again, so no, nothing different here so far. But, uh, the AM yeah. and the the puck and the mm. void, but also the same picks from since the five. Mm. Uh, they they did take the Esper uh, one earlier. They did it have as their third pick uh, last time, but uh, I think they they see now. Maybe it was it's a bit of a flex pick as well. So Duck are gonna five go. Okay, let's remaining. prepare for this post three Esper. Meanwhile, it's gonna be in the post four in the hands of Doom Buddy. I'm not sure if your Doom Buddy plays it. But I'm sure he can handle himself uh, to be able to play that there. So I mean, every post four has like. A pocket ES. I mean, you have to. It's basically what. It's like ES is the perfect possible hero. It can rotate. It's quick. Mm-hmm. It offers kill potential. It's like I think every possible one has like a pocket ES. Mm. It's a stun. What? It's a slow. Radiant it's a silence. Like, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I, 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 I generally, or I'm supposed to be playing pos four for my team at the moment, and I, you say pocket ES like it's so easy <laughs> <laughs> when it's absolutely not. Nah, it's it's a it bit hard, but I think just not good enough, dead man. Oh, thanks. It might that be the issue, you know. Yeah, that, that could possibly, Ooh. most likely, hundred percent be the issue. Big brain, <laughs> you know. No. Ten, I'll, six, I'll take that two, as a response two. to what I said earlier. <laughs> yeah, but it was looking funny. Five, <laughs> it's funny. We can look funny together. No, I don't want to look funny together. I don't want to look funny. Oh, uh, I was like, so I'll be just be the one. Okay, it's yes, fine. There you go. Fine. I'll, I'll draw I'll a mustache over your camera. Now I'm I'm gonna pull a slack Radiant here with this Wind Ranger. Back. Wind Ranger has been ruining TI finals for the last ten years, <laughs> and now they they're picking it for a comfort pick. But maybe we we see some good plays out of it. Some some double stuns, some double sh- shackle shots. Do we think Could it's be gonna be a Crimson Tide mid midwind? I don't see it working at any any ten other role. Uh, it's, it's too like the thing about Wind Ranger is that she's she has to go for damage firstly in the first two items. It's either she goes Maelstrom or straight into BKB because how is she going to survive any of the magical damage that Sinfai is going to ban? Yeah. I mean, drop because Sinfai banned uh, Nyx Dire Assassin, team, which is really yeah. good against int heroes, like Shrek, OD, uh, Grimstroke, Mid even. And then they banned the AM. So, like, I don't know how this uh, this winner needs to play like pause for, for the early move. If she goes mid, she needs way too much farm to actually be useful. Yeah. No, definitely on that side. I, I like the, uh, the Night Stalker ban as well. Here that if you get on top of them, especially if you say they're the Leshrac, they're your Pugna and stuff, they're gonna have a harder time. I think they, I think they mostly banned the Night Stalker just because once I soon that the problem in the last game was, firstly the Duck then if they took any fight they just got mispositioned, mm-hmm. they got completely out ulti and then out kited, and with Night Stalker when you're ulti you can see like almost everything, especially at night time, where every other hero's vision is reduced. Mm. If uh, if you have the night stalker, you just also you can basically say like where all these blink daggers are gonna come from. Radiant you can see where Costa is gonna roll in, where is the Wyvern gonna ult see. Ooh. 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 See, the, well, what it looks like what they're trying to do now is they, they might be trying to because the duck was on the back foot the whole of the first match. If they can get onto the front foot with the clockwork ult and wind range of uh, following in very quickly, I mean Jakiro his stuns and spells Ten you can do from a speed. long way off. So a clockwork um, cogs with a Jakira ulti on top of it. Whoever's caught in there 
is either dead or very almost dead. D E D, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I will say pepperonis. I've just noticed or realized rather the, the bands yeah, from the side of Duck. As soon as I had those first two opening no, things no. were the same as last game. <laughs> the next three three bands is you are not playing with the same draft. <laughs> not at not all. Again. Oh, are they gonna play a Huska on soon five? Ooh. A Husker mm. or a troll with that would work well because I mean, basically, with the Dazzle or Shallow Grave, it's an extended troll ulti. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I like the troll, but I'm feeling Sin 5 is they like a bit more risky, Five so I think they remaining. might go for the Husker. Mm. That's also true, yeah. Finish the game quicker. So it's the same sort of run at you style, just with a different hero. I mean, yeah. I, would, I would prefer it because I was thinking about them replacing the winner okay. with a clockwork and they put like something else. Like a puck or something, but uh, this drop is so very run at you. Team back. Luna. Oh goodness! Luna. I think this is still going to be a magic build, Luna. It is, but now with that Luna, they've secured. Uh, obviously, if any of the other ones are struggling a little bit, the late game is secured by that, or not even late game. I mean, her her innate farming ability is so strong. If she gets left alone for five minutes, Luna is going to snowball so quickly. Mm -hmm. I definitely know. Couldn't go ban again from Silicer though. It was their last ban this uh, previous match, previous game. They don't seem to like Kunker very much. No, I think it, it's. I it, mean, Kunker it disrupts. <laughs> disrupts basically what they're trying to because if Kunker gets the run buff on his uh, allies, you can't mm -hmm. really burst them with uh, the Eclipse or with the Cookie. It's not. It makes bursting them really hard. And also the torrent storm just messes up everything. Yeah. Your FPS and whatever plan you have, like to, to like roll in or do something. Makes the game pay to win. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> now uh, there's something that that I, I'm I'm suddenly thinking about now. Dukuro's ice path does it stop Earth Spirit while he's rolling? Yes. Yeah. Because they, I mean, if you go on someone say in in um, top lane. You can use that ice path to zone off the jungle a little bit to avoid Earth Spirit from being able to roll in and, and help whoever you're going on. Uh, there's a weird mechanic with it, I think. Because if you if the if you stop the roll, um, uh, as soon as the ES Five starts his roll and you ice path it, it obviously stops it. But I think if you just glaze him with the ice path, I think he still contains the roll. I'm not too sure. It is a stun though, it's not like a root or root, I know he still continues, like if you rod him. Yeah. No, but, but I mean, like, you know, obviously it's a, a small window, but if um, you cast um, Ice Path and he rolls into it yeah. while oh, no, it's no, still I in think... the stun uh, yeah, point, he... does he roll through it or does it stop him? I think he gets stopped. But it, I mean, that's such a long, it's a like long a... cast animation from the Jakira. Not to mention yeah, the time it, it takes to go and then to actually apply the stun effect. It would probably just be better to um, get the, the stun off and let Clockwork ulti the mm. whoever he's got it on. Remember, it's a long range stun, it's like a fissure. You can hit it right Wait, there. Wait, is Sunfire like going to drop Leshrac? They might. I mean, Lesh the Dazzle does solve what the Leshrac lacks, which mm. is survivability. And also, like if you look at the bands, if they pick Leshrac into Kunker, the Leshrac loses. If you pick Leshrac into SF, kind of gets dumpstered. And SF kind of works really well. It's good against. The Ricky, mm -hmm. it's a good against the drop. I mean, the Wind Ranger, and it's really high momentum. And he moves very quickly as well. So even with Wind Raid and his Wind Run, he'll still be able to almost keep up with him the whole time. Yeah, it's kind of vibing. Especially with the, the Ricky, as you said. I mean, Ricky can go invis, but he can't avoid Leshrac's ulti. What do you think for the side of Duck here? If uh, let's assume that this Wind is the the pos two mid there, and the clock is the pos four, then are we gonna what uh, what pos three they're gonna be looking for here? Sentinel? Uh, no, Sentinel is going to get dumped by no the magic. Wolf laner. There's what too much. Doom. There's too much stuff on. Uh, no, like if, even if Doom, they have Sentinel has too many abilities mm. for Doom to talk about. Like if you Doom the Dazzle, what about the ES just rolling around? That's or what true. about the Snap Fire just doing? Uh, a life stealer. Like, a life stealer might work with a built-in BKB, stopping stun, stopping silences. Yeah, yeah, they already have the Ricky though. Storm, oh, Storm. Spirit. Interesting. So this is what you said for the first game, uh, Mr. Miles. I mean, pretty quick. What did they go uh, for? I like the Leshrac like more because it's more... Uh, it's my first. I like the hero. Mm. But for Duck, I, I don't know. I, there's really? not one pick that you can... Like, any off lane that kind of gets rolled over. Remaining. Not just by the lane, but earlier, like in the team fights. And, and Nygma's a bit too slow as well. Nygma's too slow. It's yeah. too... 
You can't even mm. pick a, a, a DK because he's got physical armor, not magical armor. Uh, I'd, I'd say A and pause 3, but it's banned. <laughs> <laughs> a and pause 3. Yeah, man. Why not? Yeah, look. Uh, did, did, did you see the which match was it with um, the AM farming hey, while Tower was getting I, pushed? I've just realized now there's an alchemist. Come on, Elk Pos 3. Give the Ricky his eggs early. Yo. He's going to get dumpstered in lane by the Lunar Dazzle, but maybe he gets uh, up. Uh, hey! Oh, hey <laughs> I called um, it. I'm kind of surprised I took Alchemist because you're uh, lying a lot on this Ricky to. That is a mid elk. Mid, mid, no, that is a mid elk, elk yeah. Oh, okay. Plus four wind. So it's going to be a three clock. No, that's a plus, no, that's a plus three, man. FSM. Oh, yes, plus three. So look at that wind, though. Uh, Aren't you jelly of that falcon? Not really. Oh, okay. Is that a fine. falcon? Be like that. Yeah. Any, well, any... you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, mm. So, no, pretty. Interesting draft coming up from both sides. I, I'm interested to see how the plus three clock fares against the uh, Lunar Dazzle lane. Wait, oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I see a Aghanim Dazzle. Seconds remaining. I have just done. noticed that. Is this going to be a carry Dazzle? It's a mid Dazzle, but if you go by their last. Mm. Uh, but then cast away, yeah, no. No, my Cockroach things don't So carry, carry, yeah. carry Dazzle plus three Luna. Ooh. Goodness, this is that's throwing a span uh, a span into the works quite quite severely. I mean, pause pause. But now I Duck mean... Legend took Jakira as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't, he's the plus wasn't five. Duck, wasn't no, no. Yeah, but, uh, is he, are they going to rotate? He was the him? Abaddon. Uh, oh yes, he was. My apologies. I, I, I was I was thinking um, he was Mars. Sorry. Okay, so it more. Was FSM. Woo, time to wake up. Eh? Stuff now. Where's the cup of coffee? I mean. We have a pretty interesting game. We have Crossway Stone Threat against Alchemist Mid, and then we have Aghanim Dazzle Carry. Mm. I think I, th I actually appreciate the Dazzle Carry over the Lunar Carry because Dazzle with the Necro Books or like Solo Crest in the early game is like way faster than whatever items this Lunar can get. Yeah. Because it'll just be there for the stuns. Uh, I, I will note that the last time uh, Duck played uh, Alk in their previous match, I think they ended the game with an 82k net worth lead. And I think at one time the elk was three times the net worth of even the second highest, uh, which was on their team as well. So <sighs> you can play it, but I'm I'm interested to see. Oh, the storm elk is is it's an okay lane, I think. Um, alchemist. Alchemist <laughs> before level six gets kind of rolled over by storm spirit. Hey, everybody. Because it's just a melee hero. Like uh, Cosgrave is probably gonna go for one one one. And it's gonna max overload, and then as soon as Crimson steps into the lane, he's just gonna get a Vortex guild. At least, but the only time that he kind of alleviates that is if he gets like, if he gets to level five and he put down the level three acid spray. But even then, the mid lane is gonna be a bit tough for Crimson Tide until he hits level six. Apologize, people. I have a bit of a bug with my observer. I guess I'm just gonna have to hold shift the entire game. Uh, all right, Why? There. but uh, a uh, long story. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's not your issue. It's mine. Doesn't right. wanna. We do see a smoke out from Duck. They're looking to find anyone bottom lane, but Senna Five actually were doing kind of the same with Hop the Smoke. They kind, they just situated two guys top. So Duck aren't really gonna find anything. Kind of a waste of smoke. Hmm. You know, you know, Dazzle's getting ready when it's, he's already got his Blightstone. Just to make life worse. <laughs> I mean, that lane's gonna be hectic for Ricky. They, are they switching lanes? Uh, Doom Bunny is gonna stay off for like the first maybe minute. I don't know if Shrink is gonna go bot though. See, I, 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 saw, I saw Jenkins talking about this with the. Um, the quick double kill in um, in your off lane, where if you can kill the the support, even if it's not the carry, if you kill the support um, once and then he TP's back and you manage to kill him again, it demor immediately demoralizes the, that player completely. I mean, there, there's nothing more shameful than walking back to lane because the TP's still on cooldown. Legend is gonna run his slings. I think in the trees. I don't think they realize Doom Bunny is also here. Oh. Oh. 
There it is. Poison touch so on. Legend. I think, yeah. Kind of and he dead. doesn't have the tank that he had last uh, last match, so they're gonna be able to take him down. Are they gonna give it to him? Probably. First blood. Uh, but the question now is, Shling's gonna stay bot. He's probably still no. gonna stay top, right? Like. I think they're gonna wait for that second kill, maybe. No, no, oh, there no. it is. He's gonna stay bot. Okay. I I don't know. He kind of could stay bot because if you look at bot lane, it's a two range creeps on bottom lane. So Dota and I was not in any threat because the wave's gonna push in. I think he could easily stay top and just. Uh, Try and push a second kill, maybe. Like, not, not even second kill. Like, Legend didn't use any, like, uh, tangles or use didn't use any mangles. There, so uh, force the regen. Force regen or anything, because that kill did get first. But I think he could have just stayed top to force more regen. But it's, it's fine. It's right. And as you're saying, this uh, alchemist is taking a lot of damage, but it seems to be struggling. Yeah, the thing is, any me any melee hero against Storm Spirit, as long as the Storm Spirit is goes one one one, it is. Not a lot you can do because he just does so much damage, and also it's cast away against. Also, it's cast away playing Storm Chase, so <laughs> it's a bit rough. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. Oh, this um, the bottom lane clockwork is almost going down, and he, he pops his oh, gets deactivated. Dude, so he's got four tangos left, and, the, and that's it. Oh, and his magic stick, but unfortunately, that's not going to do much just yet. Okay, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Luna win. Quilling blade. Really? Quilling blade? Yeah, he went. Oh, mid lane. Oh, sorry. Cosway did get a kill on Crimson Tide. Yeah, uh, the Luna. Going on Luna bottom as well. They're trying oh, to... the power shot didn't miss, but Don't know. I think he's kind of fooling. He does also have the star from Schlinks if he does need to, but he need, kind of needs to be careful of the power shot coming from FSM. Coming in a few seconds. Oh, pretty close. But, yeah, she went. The Luna has Quilling blade. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. I, I, I don't know. Well, like, Luna's right click uh, range is pretty bad. For, but she had range, so much. I think. I don't know. Still Duck Legend's need... in a bit of trouble top. I think he's actually going to go down here as well. Yep. Yeah. There he goes down. I mean, Duck Legend's trying to. No. No, he has his bot, so it's going to be really hard lane for Crimson Tide. As if he doesn't. um. Because Cosway did get the bottle rune, and he's gonna ship up more region. Also, his CS is he has 11 denies in the first three minutes, as opposed to zero as the 10 CS. Oh, Green Bunny does roll in, but he doesn't boulder it. I think he was reconsidering going in, but Doom Bunny is probably here to secure the rune. If you give the stone like a DD or a haste or arcane rune, Krypton Tide has like zero game. Well, if you give if you give Storm a haste rune, you can quickly shift lanes as well and, and force a kill. For your pause one, maybe. Let him die in a little bit of a sketchy situation, yeah? No. But I mean, the, the, the storm's staying pretty low at the moment. I think his bottle empty? Yeah, his bottle's empty. There's the, the haze. Yeah, there's the haze stream for storm. Now, this could be quite interesting. Uh, Cosway is either gonna rotate. I think he might want to wait for level six. Doom Bunny is coming in to, to help him. Okay, He's got oh, the haste both... now. My daughter ran out. God damn it. <laughs> now comes Matthew. in staying well beyond the tower, keeping himself alive. Doom Bunny is staying mid for a little bit. I think they still want to try something on this. Uh, 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 Clockwork's coming in, in mid. I don't think they've seen him yet. Grabbing onto yeah, the, the... Oh, he's got his ulti now. And the ultimate is going to go down, but so is um, Doom Bunny, unfortunately. This is a good tra trade-off, though. Three, oh no, four for pause two. Castaway is looking very strong at the moment. He is... 400? Six, almost, yeah, four, fi 500. Um, net worth above um, Alchemist. Dyer's middle tower. I mean, Crimson Tide is having a way harder game than when he went against um, Platoon, where he got like a 11 minute battle fury. But let's be, let's be honest, Alchemist is also like one of the best um, heroes to come back with as well. Yeah, I mean, you can't stop the hero from bombing, it's almost impossible. Yeah. yeah. You missed someone, but yeah, he was at Snapfire going down, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh... Muffin Man is second in the net worth at the moment. 
doing pretty well keeping keeping thing uh, keeping things alive for for oh. duck. No way. Doom Bunny going back top. Maybe Stupendous. they're trying to push Ricky out of lane. Oh, or hoping to anyway. Alchemist has got a soul ring like now. It. Okay, I I switch Wi-Fi's. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Winter, I'm, I'm good. I'm back. Oh, what did I miss? Uh, and I'm shooting. Shinx, if it doesn't did get cooked by Shinx, it's, I think it's way too much. It does get away with the wind run. Then that didn't really have the mana for the Eclipse. I mean, the Lucian Beam. What rune did Cosway go? Did he even secure the rune? Um, oh, uh, at four minutes, oh, no. yeah. No, 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 at six minutes, Crimson Tide got the region, which I'm surprised that it was even allowed to. Hmm. Oh, Crimson Tide is really having a really tough game. Like, if you just look at Cosway, he has 42 CS and 18 denies. Oh, Rolling so on Cosway, Boulder? On I don't know, he... Have they missed the Boulder? I think... I don't know if they have enough magical damage for Crimson. No... Yeah, MSM is coming in now. Also, TP? Cool. Uh, they kind of messed up with the with the pull. The the roll. Ball. I think I think if they roll, if the roll hit, I think they would have done enough damage. Because uh, Doom Bunny, I mean, Crimson Tide was getting very good. close. Yeah. Oh. Doom Bunny oh. roll. Okay. Nice. So. All right. Cool. I so. Honestly, I thought I thought that was the um, the acid that killed them for a second there. Oh, Kosui rolls in down to Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide does not have ult. Yeah, and he goes down. Oof. <laughs> it was a long ulti. Like I, I was honestly wondering, like, would he have the burst damage when he when he lands to to do all the damage that he needs to do it to? Uh, the man's like, what's his Dota post? Dota post level? Like, I don't know what that is. Like eighteen. I ha I didn't even look. Eighteen plus. It's like it's the it's the master tier. No, not master tier. Like just the one below platinum. Platinum. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I don't know. Cosmo has played enough games to realize how how much mana his burst actually needs. Yeah, and how much damage he's gonna do when he lands. Yeah, I mean, Crimson Tide, every time his ulti is not up, he just needs to go jungle. Or he just kind of gets burst, especially if Doom Bunny gets more levels and gets like a vet, uh, earn charge. What lane? Muffin Man did shift from top lane to top to bot lane. Wait, well, Luna's in big trouble top now. He drops. Clockwork just, just surviving. Oh, he's lucky with, uh, I think it was 15 HP. Hmm. Chris, what Aghanim's gonna get? Necrobook? Necrobook into mech. <laughs> Jesus. This Alk is gonna have a raid so because there's so much damage on the burst damage on the side of uh, Sen 5. I'm also worried for Crimson because he only, only Alchemist. He only got his uh, power traits like, he's gonna get his power trait at 9 minutes. That's even considered late for like normal carries that's having a bad game. So like, he, he kind of got rolled over mid but it's fine he did get some stacks going he's gonna farm but i want to see from costway is that is he gonna go contested well, the thing is um alchemist with his passive i mean let's be honest the, the amount of farm that you can get out of that is absolutely hellacious so even if he does have a bad uh, start up late game he can still come in uh, come back just from farming for a couple of minutes in jungle uh, the question is because his battery is going to be so delayed is he even going to go for the item I think it's Doom Bunny does get Cocker. No, like he's kind of kind of vibing. Just rolling out, so feeding each other out there. Aghanim does poison touch Muffin Man. Muffin Man does with the tricks of the trade get out. It's pretty close. Aghanim does have his Necro Book, so like the kill potential in this lane is ridiculous. They just need Doom Bunny or like the Luna or no or Schlinks to come and just CC because Dazzle doesn't really do well with uh, control. There's no way she can catch the. Oh, Duck Micro? The bunny does kick him, he has for the rune. Looking to secure rune's butt now, or they're gonna be able to... Oh, no, the bunny. That's a little bit late for him, unfortunately. I think he kicked... I think he kicked the clockwork a bit too early, because... He was trying to... He kicked in because he wanted to get the rune, but... He kicked it, like, I think two seconds too early, and if he just, um... A bit late, I think he would've got... I think he would've gotten out, but who knows. Crimson Tide, the lane, looking really big. Oh no. Yikes. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, bottom lane, Aghanim is getting a lot of damage onto FSM, but FSM is one ball to 
Jesus. With the Miner's armor and then the Boulder Sand, she took like 450 damage. Hmm. How was the Alchem Lunar doing? Alchemist is about to catch up to, to Storm Spirit in um, Networth. He's farming up very quickly now. I think he's seen helping with the stack, so kind of kind of chilling. Yeah, but that's the, that's the dangerous thing about Alchemist. They need to either move quickly or stop him from farming. Is, does he still want to go for the battle fury? And the Ricky, because the Ricky is going to go for the diffuser, but I feel like the Alchemist battle fury might be a bit too slow. Mm, not too sure. I think this game would be. I think it's safe. Right? I think. I think. I feel like he should be going more survivability item. Because if you look at the team, they don't have. They have. They have a Jakiro that likes to sit in the back lines. They, like, they have a Winry that likes to go on the back lines. And there's ulti somewhere, and then they have a Ricky that likes to go on the back line. So there's no initiate. Plus, when it does zip onto Crimson Tide, Crimson Tide ulti just ran out. Onto the onto Doom Bunny, but Crimson Tide did die, and then Cosray zip TP's away. FSM. I think that's FSM the good thing. So is FSM. I think FSM can, I mean, Dodonet can actually turn this. Uh, no, not with the clock, I could say. Not with the battery as well. But they actually, since I did like a really good job of, uh... Oh, regenerate? For cost away. Does he see it? Probably. Well, that was a good trade off. I mean, you had the, the, the pause, what, the pause three? For the, for the pause two. Yeah, it's the, 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 All the time that you can stop the, the, the alchemist is good time. Yeah, alchemist as well, so... His battle fear time is gonna go late in like 14 minutes, which is still a really quick battle fury for normal carries, but still a bit slow for Alchemist. But not as slow, considering how he's laning stage win, but he seemed did stack for him, so his recovery was like really quick. Hmm. No. Storm's still leading him by a little bit. If they can keep the pressure on the Alchemist, then, you know, they've got a good chance of just making him almost, um, that, that, that sounds small, but basically making his, his passive null and void. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're looking for, for Windranger. Uh, she's Windranger. There's no way she can get the kill. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're... Oh, oh no. Oh, Mrs. Trust ulti. Yikes. I mean, maybe that... I, I don't even think that Clockwork ulti, if hit, would even kill, because... Actually, no, it would have because the clockwork would have hit the ulti and then cogs and the Ricky with the smoke screen inside. Uh, how's Dazzle doing? Does he have his mech up? No. Um, no, not yet. I think he slowed down a little bit. Oh, Cosway is zipping aggressively. Half his mana gone, but he does have the region popping. Also, man does the smoke screen. Look how he did. Cosway is in the back of the And stun again. Cosway? Oh, Grave. Shallow Grave. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sapphire Sync does have the Mortimus because on the back and he's laying it onto Dark Legend. Dark Legend does Ice Pop and no avail. Too late. Don't know, can get it. Is it? Nah, he's got to yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, far. I'm not with the Wolves match like that. That Aghanim showing grave on, on Castaway was absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, he took like way more damage than I expected. It's just a Wind Ranger Javelin, but that's a lot of damage. Yeah, but Wind Ranger is building her Maelstrom first. Hmm. And this whole time, Alchemist is farming away in the in the jungle, going at it. I mean, what next item do we want to see from the Alchemist? Like, I feel like he should be getting. Ideally, he want to be getting Aghanim, but the things that I think if he just goes S and Y, I think with the ulti and S and Y, his healing and like tankiness would be, is sufficient enough to survive the burst. Yeah, at, bit... at this point, that's what he needs. He needs to be able to survive the burst so his ulti can take effect and then he can still fight. Because without that, he's going to fall very quickly. I mean... I mean, SNY, the... if you just read what it does... SNY, the, the passive actually says plus and 30% regen. Oh, Koso is zipped onto, onto Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide also is down. He is ulted as well, he's going to take damage from the burn. Okay. <laughs> They're keeping the pressure as much as they as much as they're going uh, play lane and do, get their objectives. They're still keeping a decent amount of pressure on the alchemist. But that's a that's a bit of a dangerous place for the alchemist to farm, especially if you just look at the Sin five drops. Like if you look storm spread ES, as soon as they see like a glimmer of you on like the vision, they're just going to come for you like instantly. So 
I like Duck to ward the triangle more and then for the Alchemist to play there because he really needs the SNY for the second item. So Ricky's busy building his Diffusal Blade as well, so he's actually doing pretty well for himself. I think if if Muffin Man does go for the diff if he does complete the Diffusal and in like the next a minute or two minutes, Aghanim will actually have to be really scared up with Ricky. Even for Aghanim, it does have more net worth and CS than the Ricky. It's just the power, the major power spike timing of the Ricky Battle Fury. Ricky's TP top. Phoenix is very alone. I don't think Muffin Man knows this. I think he might be getting a bit more information. He, off he asked for a TP from Clockwork. Oh, Clockwork? Yeah. Just, just. He's, by the skin of his teeth, he's almost, he's taking some big risks there. But the Alchemist looks like he's building a, um, oh, uh, omelette. No, this is the same build he went against, uh, Crimson Tide went against the, the tune. But that, in that game, he got a 11 in Balfour. But, I'm not too sure, like, I still feel like the SNY would be better, because, uh, it just offers more tank. They have a lot of CC control, like, a lot of debuffs that he can, uh, Shouldn't do duration, and also most importantly, the the self amp heal that you get from the SNY in combination with his with his ulti. I just it feels like the better item, but I don't know. FSM's career just was sitting mid. I think he lost track of it. It only had, it only had TPs on it, but it was just sitting middle mid lane. Mm. I mean, so, sometimes you can. I think career might. Oh no. Micro? Why is he mid? Oh, he gets on Yikes. That's so much damage. But no, if, you, if you look at the, the sport, even though just like the sports items, I mean, you look at Jakira's items, he's, I think he picked up one then choke in the last like minute or minute and a half. Oh, Ooh, shit. they committed a lot to yeah. that though. Jeez, uh, they draw the clips for that. I mean, it's hard because you have, you have a greedy hero like Ricky who didn't have like a, the, the greatest of starts and now he needs to recover from jungle and then you also have an alchemist who didn't have the great of start and now he needs to recover in jungle so this Shakiro yeah. had to go stack to make sure that the alchemist and the ricky gets enough farm on the map for them not to have to wait around and also it's, well, it's, if you look it, at um step fine comparison she's got Drums, ones, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff at the plus no. five. Prince needs to be careful. Castaway is zipping in. His ult is only going to be up for like five more seconds. The Orchid is burning. Orchid is going down again. Yeah, I mean, instantly, it, when you're playing against the Spurs, you need to be really careful when you're showing up in lane. Because as soon as Crimson Tide um, appeared bot lane, instantly from Castaway. He's from, from Castaway. But he's got, the, he's got Arcane and Regen, and they're <laughs> both still active. It's kind of vibing though. Oh, the, the region's been down, but I mean, oh, going to get he's, he is cooking to the tier from the man. Oh, well, with a nice grade from Agamemnon as well. Brilliant, and he's out. And we chill. But the, I mean, the, the, that combination of. Oh, I need to drink it. Crossway playing very oh, dangerous. Jesus, Muffin Holy. Man. But I mean, it, if you, the combination uh, that Castaway had there, the, the Arcane plus the Regen, uh, I was trying to figure out how he was ulting around so much, and then suddenly saw those two. The the, the mana reduction that uh, that um, Arcane gives to him is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he was ulting around like he's got a mana pool of almost 3,000. I mean, hmm, arguably Arcane is way better than Regen, because Regen... Um, can get popped in fights while Arcane Rune cannot. And all your abilities get them. So Arcane Rune is like the best. Ooh, Hook shot from Micro. Because this fight does have the, the construction. I know Ice Pop on to 3, but Chlink, playing, he doesn't really have cookie, he doesn't really, he's already popped the pipe. Plus, he doesn't have a lot of mana, but he's kind of vibing though. Win gets taken out break, you see there. Secure is down. Mother Man's kind of like, oh, he's the Fizzle well Blade, is being delayed by another few minutes. Like, look at oh, Castle. Castaway's in trouble, by himself. Oh no, uh, the Ag, the Ag CD is up. Mm. Wow. Castaway's yeah, playing so dangerous today. I mean, I think he just realizes... If this Ricky had his defusal, I think that engagement would have been way better for Mothman because he could have gotten easy double kill, but his defusal blade's delayed by a lot. Like, even though they have an Alchemist, like, the Alchemist still got recovered with a 14 million Battle Fury, which is... Decent, they're still 12k net worth behind of Sinister 5.
Stupendous. But, but now look, look at this again. Um, look at the maneuverability that Sun, Sun 5 is going for. Luna has ags. What did she buy next? Blink. Mm. Straight away. Just trying to make sure that they, they can get in. Now you've got um, Storm Spirit's ulti. You've got Doom Bunny roll. You've, uh, Lina, uh, Luna's busy with um, the blink. Um, Agnum is building blink as well. Hmm. It's, it's just so much initiation and so much uh, ma maneuverability that besides um, wind, run, uh, uh, wind you can't really, and maybe Ricky because of his um, invis, you can't really get away from them. Upon a loyal I mean, FSM, I feel like he's not really going to have a game because with the, as soon as all Arcane are in top lane as well, because I think what they're going to do on Sin 5 is that Dota and I is going to put the Aghanims on top of the, the Storm Spirit and then Storm Spirit is zips in and then he just burst. The back they line, like bottom. Three seconds. I think three of them are smoked up. Four of them are smoked up. They're using Crimson as bait. They're gonna they gonna see the curry of the ES, so they definitely know he's around the area. Rocket fly in, rocket fly in. Do Bunny was in range of are they gonna hook shot then? <laughs> oh. Can he oh connects it brilliantly? Blind hook shot, okay. I yeah, think that, it... that looks amazing. They're all, now they're all coming in, yeah. There's one TP from Luna. Luna immediately gets pushed out of the way though. Luna only has ult in a few seconds. Costway is zipping a lot with the Arcane, but if he gets stunned, oh, he blocks it. Nah, Jesus. So best. many, so much. Oh, he's, he's silenced now, he can't go anywhere. Nah, but Muffin, falls up. Oh, he seems oh. already dead, so it's oh. nothing right. Muffin Man just going to, uh, opting to TP out. Can Crimson oh. get out though? Not us. Oh, also TPing. Oh, just in time. Castaway really looking aggressive at this point. I'm kind of a little bit of hesitation on Sin 5 because they the ES was they get gone on like he's um when he got hooked shot it kind of Sin 5 kind of waited like five seconds to actually TP in so they click they were clearly communicating whether to actually save. But he's um, back foot now he's going blade mail. Mm, the alpha, so. Actually, I actually respect the the blade mail pickup. Like he finally realizes how much damage. He actually needs a tank too, so the omelet isn't really gonna. The omelet isn't really doing much. Not gonna lie. No, the thing is, with the, when you're getting bursted so fast, omelet does literally nothing. I think it actually harms you with the with the amount of drain, the life drain it does with the orchid. Because while yeah. the orchid's still popping and you're still draining life, it's just extra like 100, maybe 200 damage on top of whatever. Duck legend. Oh. Okay. Looking for him. Yep, there it is, Ricky. They've got him now. And then Dota and I have on the back and just his own in the back. <laughs> Luna's not, not shy of using that ult of his on, on the supports. Not really. I, I want to see him put on put on Cosper and just Cosper to zip in the back and just melt the Jakira and the Wind Ranger. But now, uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Cosper zips in on. Castaway getting very deep there. Other does not have a lot of mana for this. Dark Legend does also because of the Titan with the concoction. He puts it on the ES, but where's the damage with Sphinx does have Killer Grave keeping him alive, just just Cosway is still going back in just regening up and then Muffin Man still in but not really able to contribute much. FSM windwalk, but he gets water straight into the battle room man. Uh, it just I uh, this drop from Duck is obviously it's it's really it is early game, but I feel like I feel like their plan was to make to actually win the lane because the thing is their plan with the Algorithm was obviously to get like a 12 minute battle three and then and then alternate AC into Scotty and Sebastian, right? But the thing is that Cosway got 11 denies at three minutes into the game. That's like I think I think the Algorithm only got like 10 CS. And no, that, that's crippling early game. That's really crippling for the Algorithm. Like he did he seems did help him recover with the stacks, but I feel like since I just play like a whole different event and then uh it's just so quick. Can't play so rushing hard. Him again at Alchemist. He does not want to give Alchemist a chance. Nothing man does go on the dazzle, but he kinda has double stun from Solo. Ice Pop missed by his Duck Legend. He is getting his mana pool is getting really low. So, but he is gonna commit all his mana for Dark Legend. He is gonna roll in. He does. Algonus has the vessel so on top of him as well. With the dazzle, so. Oh, Algonus so with the There's so much going on that, they, that they've 
used to to stop the the alchemist from getting absolutely anywhere cast away just like spamming those mangoes <laughs> i mean it's hard for dark legend as well because how is he supposed to ice pop when everyone is just moving like like he can't get a proper ice pop out because everyone's just moving so far <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's not only that, but, but I mean, the alchemist relies on being able to hit people, and he's got—he can't stop them from moving. I don't they, 